Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Tuesday, April 20th, 2021, and we're on day 110 of this edition of the Game of Life, this yearly edition of the Game of Life, okay? So I hope that you are playing with me. I know that Deanda got off the bench, and I'm so happy about that. If you are not playing along, you are being called off the bench too. So please jump into what we are doing. This morning when I was doing my Bible study, I came across something that I wanted to read to you. It says, this is from a Bible study called He Speaks to Me from Priscilla Shirer. It says, the Lord does not and will not make us do anything. He will invite us. And we will be blessed as we submit to his calling on our lives. So that's sort of like being a Shibboleth member. Nobody but you can make you do it. So we invite you to do this along with us. Hey, everybody, thank you for all those hearts and likes and everything. I love that. So we invite you to do this along with us, but we can't want it more than you for you, and we can't make you do it. So, I do know that you will be blessed by living this lifestyle along with us. So, I do highly encourage you to join in and make sure that you live this lifestyle with us. So, I had been doing this never again list that I picked up, and I forgot to do it a day or two. So, our third never again list is Never again will I confess fear. Never again will I confess fear. I'm going to read the verse and you can type in a declaration. Sorry, it, my uh, internet had a moment. So you can um, type in whatever you declare about this. For God hath not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Now, I do want to say a little something about fear. Do you know we shouldn't be fearful, but we can use a little bit of fear to our benefits, okay? So this isn't saying to be fearful, okay? This is just, what I'm saying about using fear to your benefit is I am quite aware that I should not cross the line living the lifestyle. So I use that slight bit of fear to my benefit, but we are not meant to be fearful people, Yesterday, I was talking to a lady who said, have you gone back out yet? And I was so surprised. I'm thinking, yeah, I've been out the whole time. And I, I just, it's just, it was amazing and eye-opening that there is a lot of fear out there in general. But he did not give us a spirit of fear. But we need to use it to our benefit when it is required. For example, you would not walk up to the edge of a the Grand Canyon without a rail. Or if you did walk up, you'd do it very carefully and cautiously and slowly. In fact, the other day when I was talking about this, I came, I saw an image and I posted it in my story. And it says, watch and pray so that you will not fall into, into temptation. And I don't know if you can see this, but it's this person standing on the edge of a cliff. And that's what I was kind of talking about with, we got to have something to keep us on track. And a little bit of fear of having to go buy bigger clothes, I'll use it to my benefit. I'll use it to my benefit, but I'm not going to be fearful, okay? So, when you hop on here, I've just talked away this morning. When you hop on here this morning, please say good morning. I'm sure you already have. What type of Shibboleth day you are having and where you're watching from? Good morning, Michelle. I am F Day in Carrollton. Hey, Troy Dawn. Glad to have you here with us. Hey, Tammy, good morning. Good morning, Ron, on a perfect day. Charlene from Michigan, having a perfect day. Hey, Kristen from Kennesaw, a Tiger 16 day. She's down one pound from yesterday following a holiday this weekend. And I am looking forward to going out with my Shibby Shop friends and celebrating Kristen's birthday. Uh, it was already, okay, but we're celebrating it this coming Friday. Hey, Polly, good morning in Dalton, Georgia. Good morning, Colleen from Michigan with a perfect day. And Jennifer from Niles, Michigan, a perfect day. Good morning, Deanda. I mentioned you a minute ago. Hopefully you heard it, just that you had gotten off the bench and you were playing with us, and I was so excited, and I was calling those other players off the bench too. 
So she's going to have a perfect day today. I am F day today on purpose <laughs> from Smyrna. Good morning, Gina. Gina's doing the work hard, play hard, lockdown. Good morning, Sandy. Hey, Lynn Vance, having a perfect day in Carrollton, Georgia. And Valerie Herman, having a perfect day in Indiana. Good morning, Diane, having a perfect day. Daisy is doing much better. I was going to get her hair. I'm get, She's got a grooming appointment next Tuesday, and I was going to get a picture of her all looking good and, and post her. So I certainly will. She's doing much better. Thank you for asking, Diane. Thank you so much. Um, Awesome, Lynn. It is a great verse. I will not be afraid. Thank y'all. Thank you for sharing, Diane. Y'all, that share button is in the bottom left-hand corner. Look, look right now. See it? Share. If you touch it, if you touch it, another little box will pop up, and then all you got to do is hit the blue share now button. You can do it. You can do it. Good morning, Alicia Edwards for Oaklethorpe. Perfect day. Awesome. Good morning, Christine. Um, yes, a healthy fear can be useful. I like the way you put that. That's awesome. Kathy from Michigan, perfect day. Um, yes, I'm wearing the sweater. I like this sweater a lot. It's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. I'm enjoying it a bunch. And good morning, Pat Johnson. I'm glad you're up this morning. I am F Day. Rita Henry, Ridgeland, Mississippi. Good morning. Good morning, Gina uh, from Cumming. She's doing the work hard, play hard lockdown. Hey, Marla, perfect day. She's in Ontario, Canada. Wow. In another country. Beth, good morning. Good morning, Christy, Buford, Georgia, IMF Day. Suzanne is having a wow day. And I like that, Polly. I like that. Yeah, I know, Pat. It's funny. It's funny. Okay, well, awesome. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to read our devotion today. It's called Don't Eat Your Way Out of the Pit. I thought that sounded good. Um, Daniel 6.10. Daniel 6.10. Three times a day, Daniel got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he had done before. Good, uh, Marla, Kirk, California, oh, Canada. <laughs> Lord. Oh, it says, didn't it say Ontario? Okay, Ontario, California. I bet you're laughing at me. Heading home. Hey, Jason Whitener, Jason Whitener, perfect day in Dalton. 104 pounds down as of this morning. Jason, you get the little swirly thing. Congratulations. Wow. That's awesome. That is awesome. Good morning, Alice from Staley, North Carolina. Having a Tiger 16 day. And thank y'all for typing in that verse. Thanks for being on here with us, Jason, and telling us of your awesome success. That is exciting to celebrate. And thank you for being so dedicated to all that you do. Okay. So, have you ever been in a pit? Yesterday, I was. And this is the devotion by Lisa Turkhurst, Made to Crave Devotional. Good morning, Sharon. Perfect day in Hickson, Tennessee. And you know what pits make me feel besides frustrated and down? Hungry. Usually, my pit comes from circumstances. When circumstances roll into my life that I can't control, Circumstances that are beyond my control make me want to find comfort in things I can control. And eating sure does feel like it's an easy way to get comfort. But in these situations, what feels comforting going into my mouth often doesn't settle well with my heart. Overindulging in junk food makes me feel guilty. And once guilt joins me in my pit, it only compounds my issues. So, if we can't eat our way out of the pit with junk food, what can we do? If I'm truly hungry, I can grab a healthy option. Then, I intentionally look for something for which to be thankful and get my mouth busy praising God. Even though I may not feel like praising God in the midst of my pit, something starts to shift in my head and in my attitude when I see blessings in the midst of burdens. Each thing for which I verbalize my thankfulness is like a stepping stone out of the pit. And this isn't just my idea. It's biblical. Look what happened when Daniel took this approach to the pit he found himself in. Daniel had just learned that anyone caught praying to any god besides King Darius would be thrown into the lion's den. That's a serious pit. But Daniel's reaction is amazing. He went home 
threw open his windows and prayed anyway. I'm not thinking he did this because he felt good. I'm imagining he felt like anyone would feel in an overwhelming circumstances, but he rose above his feelings to make a courageous choice. And do we, and do you know what he chose to pray? God, save me. God, it's not fair. God, this is too much. God, smite my enemies and wipe them out. God, do you know I can't handle this without extreme doses of chocolate? No, none of the above. What Daniel prayed is a powerful lesson for me. Daniel prayed, thank you, God. Three times a day, he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to his God, just as he has done had done before. Since Daniel's response is so opposite of the way most of us would react, it makes me stop and ponder. Our initial responses are usually a byproduct of the rituals we've established in our lives. Daniel had made it his habit to be thankful. Therefore, who God is and what God provides was front and center in Daniel's heart, even in the midst of heartbreak. I am so challenged and inspired by this. Where do I run when life presses in on me? On whom or on what am I really dependent? Do I have a habit of inviting guilt to join me in my pit? What might happen if I stopped grabbing for comfort and instead embrace the perspective change of Thanksgiving? Yes, life will be full of pits, but that doesn't mean I have to be a pit dweller or a pit eater. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Did y'all enjoy that? I know I certainly did. And I'm going to go back right up here to this statement. It says something about it's usually, something's usually a byproduct of the rituals we've established in our lives. Do you remember the day that we talked about the fact that we might not be stuck, that we might be committed, committed to patterns that keep us in a cycle? And usually we think of commitment as a good thing. But if we're committed to patterns that keep us in a cycle, we've got to figure out a way to break those patterns. And being thankful is a great way to break those patterns. Good morning, Barbie. Good morning. And Pat says, our habits tend to be to turn to food for comfort. Yes, um, or should I say my habit was to turn to food for comfort. So a lot of people do that for comfort. I'm not sure I do it for comfort, but I do know, and this could be sort of a comforting thing. This could, uh, relaxing. So for example, if I'm like going, 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 and I did a little video on this in the Shippy Show, my little private group last night. It was quick and short, but it was about, I had been going nonstop for days, and it was time for bed, really. But my mind said, just go in there and sit down. Sit down and have something. Well, I'd already eaten everything I could eat for yesterday, so I wasn't doing that because I wanted to keep it a perfect day. But I had to at least think through the thought process, and I did want people to know that, you know, I go through that too. And so that's why I did that little video. But yeah, mine was always like to relax, to chill. Um, yes, exactly, exactly. Well, I hope that y'all have a great day. I'm going to read this prayer out loud, and I just want to know that I prayed for you yesterday morning and this morning. In my the prayer thing, in my new Bible app, I've written a prayer, and you can kind of go through your prayers, and you can mark it if you prayed it again or not. It's so fun. So I did pray for y'all this morning. So let's go ahead and pray this prayer. Dear Lord, I know it is normal for us to sometimes find ourselves in a pit. But we don't have to stay there, and we don't have to eat our way out. Thank you for provi for providing your timeless word to point the to the way, the truth, and the life. And we know who that is, Jesus, in Jesus' name. So what I want you to do, thank you, Polly. Awesome, Pamela. Good. She's having a Tiger 16 on the work hard, play hard lockdown, which is awesome and amazing. And I feel so honored. I was asked by my church to be, they said be a leader. And I'm like, a leader, really? And um, in the National Day of Prayer, 
So I get to pray um, on a video about education. So I'm excited about that. I started writing some of those things in my thoughts this morning. And then I had the thoughts that I wasn't good enough to be praying for that. I had all of that. I've already dealt with all of that this morning. And I said, you forget it, Satan. They asked me to, and I'm going to. So you can just forget it. And um, <laughs> the Bible app, Rhonda, the Bible app is the U version. U version. So just go into Bible app and choose the U version one. You're welcome, Rhonda. Glad to, I mean, Robin, glad to see you on here this morning. And I know you had fun walking with the ladies on Saturday. They were talking about that last night at class. So, so I'll be kind of writing and preparing that, that prayer for education. I'm so glad to get to do that. But when you hop off of here this morning, what I would like for you to do is to journal. Go directly to your journal. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Just go to your journal, okay, and write it down. And then if you are watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shabolith for his glory. Awesome, awesome, Alicia. I'm so glad that you're here. That is, I love that you're starting your day like this. This is fabulous. So let us know if you need anything. You know you've got the little chat feature from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on the website, either on a computer or your phone. Just ask questions. If they're not there, like if they're on a mentor call or something, they will get back with you. So use all of the resources that you have to make great decisions today. I know that we can use this management system to manage our lives. What we tend to give into is the fact that we want to do what we want to do when we want to do it. Because we know how to live the lifestyle. It's not complicated. But we got to make decisions and stick to it day by day by day. So y'all have a great day and I'll see you in the morning.